coming up on today's Wild West. We'll ride the historic Little Bighorn Battlefield. This is called Mini Kanju Ford. Following the trail of Custer, Crazy Horse, and Sitting Bull. At U.S. Cavalry School, we'll wear the uniform, <laughs> fire the weapons, <laughs> reenact Custer's last stand, and much more. A very special episode of today's Wild West is just ahead. The Wild West. It's still out there. And we'll show you how to find it. This is today's Wild West. Last Stand Hill. A stone marker stands where George Armstrong Custer fell, surrounded by the last of his men in the most legendary battle of the Old West and perhaps all of history. Custer's last stand, the Battle of the Little Bighorn. This quiet summer day belies the horrific violence that took place here on June 25, 1876, when Custer and five companies of his 7th Cavalry, more than 200 men, were cut off, surrounded, and wiped out, with no white survivor to tell the tale. Every June on the anniversary week of that battle, you can ride where Custer rode, camp where the Indian teepees stood, ford the Little Bighorn River in one of the most unique adventures in today's American West. Dress it up. U.S. Cavalry School. Back him up a step. There you go. Hold right there. There is nothing like it. You can't beat it. Being here on the original bloody ground, being on the battlefield itself, it's a, it's a rarity to be able to ride horses on a, a battlefield of this national significance anymore. No, follow me. Cav School, as it's known for short, is an eight-day immersion into the life of an 1870s U.S. Cavalry soldier. Every morning, you'll put on the cavalry uniform attention, and stand at attention as the flag is raised. You'll saddle up your horse with the same McClellan saddle the cavalry rode, ford the Little Bighorn, and ride the Custer Battlefield. So to be here on the actual field, that's hard to beat. And you're able to ride a horse. You're able to kind of get the feel, wear the uniforms, get into the sweat of things, experience the heat and the fatigue. It adds a perspective you can't get from a book. As uh, Henry Roberts says, you know, the land is the star of our reenactment. It is, it is uh, the star of the show. Keith Heron is the owner and organizer of Cavalry School. In a sense, it's City Slickers meets Last Stand. Cavalry School was actually inspired by the Kevin Costner movie, The Postman. Long story short, the horsemen who portrayed the cavalry in the post-apocalyptic film created the school to teach people about the real U.S. cavalry. And there's no better place to do that than at the site and on the anniversary of history's best-known cavalry battle. The river was red with blood. This was war. It wasn't cowboys and Indians, and it wasn't John Wayne. <laughs> Author and historian Steve Adelson is among the dynamic speakers at Cav School, where you'll learn about the guns, the gear, the saddles, the horses, the politics, and one man's perspective on the final moments on Last Stand Hill. The sky is raining arrows. Gunfire, smoke, yelling, screaming, cursing. But the opportunity to ride where Custer and Crazy Horse rode is what sets Cavalry School apart from any other experience.